Everyone's different but in my experience, you go through many stages. Denial, this can't be happening. What did I do wrong? I treated her well. I loved her. She told me she loved me. Maybe this was a heat of the moment thing. When she calms down I can talk to her. Then you realize this is serious. I guess shock takes over. You just feel helpless. You don't know what to do or say. A thousand thoughts fly through your mind followed by a thousand emotions. You're angry, upset, unsure of yourself. A feeling of loss clouds your mind. Now if it's the first ever breakup you are a mess. In all fairness, this happens every time if you genuinely love the other person. However, a first heartbreak is usually followed by a constant need to beg. Say sorry for whatever it is you did. And compromise both your self-esteem and logic as you chase like an abandoned puppy trying to convince her to take you back. Promising to do anything if she'd only give you a second chance. This only pushes her further away, and she will lose any respect she ever had for you. If this isn't your first breakup then those feelings still appear but you now know that the best course of action is to go disappear for a few days. Tell her you need some time to yourself and you'd like to talk more about it at a later date. Maybe once you go to collect your belongings. Then we go and try to process what's happened. Try and figure out why this has happened. Look back and try to see if there were any signs we may have missed. Ask yourself if there's someone else involved. We always go this route. I personally write down all my feelings which gets the jumbled mess out of my head. Then you try and regroup. Your friends tell you to get over her. You deserve better. There are plenty more fish in the sea. You ignore them. You love this girl and you want her back. You search the web you look for advice and help as to what to do next. Then the meet up. You go in there trying to look your best, not like the emotional wreck you are inside. You try to listen to her reasons for ending the relationship. You don't know whether to believe them or not. Is she just trying to not hurt your feelings? You ask some questions and she doesn't know how to answer them. You just sit there blankly trying to resist the urge to beg for another chance. You leave with your things, and maybe a hug at the door. You walk away looking back, both of you with tears in your eyes. Then you get your ass somewhere private and have your breakdown, tears, the lot. The next few days, weeks you spend licking your wounds, you're an emotional mess. Your confidence is rock bottom. You feel like your heart has been ripped out your chest. You seek company and bore your friends to death asking why. What did I do wrong? They try to reassure you these things sometimes just happen. You also need solace. You have times when you just sit for hours torturing yourself of the thoughts of good times. How she held you. The love, sex the intimacy. The smell of her perfume you know it's now gone. You look through the loving messages which were a daily routine, day and night between you. The pictures of you two together and in love. They mean nothing now. It's been tossed in the bin. You lose your appetite. You don't enjoy food. You can't concentrate on anything or anyone. You don't want to go hang with your friends. You aren't in the mood to can't just take your mind off it. Anger. Then the resentment starts. Why? What have I done to deserve this? Was I not a decent boyfriend? Her friend's boyfriends all treat them like shit. I was decent. I gave her everything. I was always there for her. I did everything for her. It doesn't make sense. Wait, maybe it does make sense. Then you look in the mirror and don't recognize the person looking back. That's not me. That person is sad, depressed, look weak, and drawn. You've lost weight. You haven't been sleeping. Acceptance. Then eventually you dig deep. Something happens and you, you realize that the person you were at the end of the relationship wasn't the person your ex fell in love with. You've become a doormat. You've put this girl on a pedestal. She's not perfect. She lost her feelings for you. She didn't respect you the way she used to. Maybe you do deserve better. You remind yourself I've had better looking and more caring women before. Your focus shifts to you. To start eating, reading, working out, filling up the huge void left by her. With your friends, family, hobbies, you know that you need to get yourself together. You get your confidence back by meeting other girls maybe a date or two. You need to be the happy positive confident guy that your ex first fell in love with. The guy she was in competition with other females just to get your attention. A few months pass and maybe you've had a couple of relapses. She's like a drug. But you know that the only way to get over an addiction is to go cold turkey. No or limited contact. However you will relapse. A quick peek on her social media won't hurt. Maybe a quick message to say hi. She sends a message hoping you're okay, telling you she didn't want to hurt you, etc. Etc. These all can trigger the relapse and send you back to square one. Eventually, you will get to the other side. It may take days, weeks. Or months eventually you are back now you have a choice do you still love this girl do you want to keep going forwards 
You know you can be happy with someone else, but there's still that little bit of hope hanging on in there. Hopefully, by this point you realize you don't need her in your life. You're happy again. However, do you want her in your life again? Then you either ask to meet and talk, clear the air and move on as friends. Very difficult. Or you could try to see if there's still a spark there. Is she still single? How do I feel when I actually see her? How will she react when she sees this new improved version of you? This is the big test to see how you've both recovered. Or do you just forget it all and go meet someone new and start it all over again? This is a general idea of what men go through. Some may be stuck on various stages for a long time. Some go through the stages on repeat for months. Years. There's a lot more I could add but at the time it happens to you it's the worst feeling in the world. No, we usually don't show you how hurt we are. We usually don't show anyone how hurt we are. 